So in this video, we're going to be talking about a new state who is now trying to pass a complete ban on the possession of rifles and magazines. So let's talk about what is happening. But real quick before I jump into this video, if you think bans on so-called assault weapons and magazines is clearly unconstitutional, violates the second amendment, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also, I think one of the main supporters of this channel, which is First Form, a lot of you guys have been noticing that I've been losing weight over the last year, I lost about 50 plus pounds. And you know, it's been a journey for sure. And one of the companies that I'm now working with who watches this channel, who supports this channel is First Form. First Form has amazing supplements. I use their protein and a lot of their other uh, supplements all the time. But also one of the things that they're offering now for you guys and I'm using as well is their application, their app that has a tracker for macros. You get your own fitness trainer. So if you guys check out First Form using the links down below, and if it's your first time going to First Form, you will get a 30 day free trial of that application. So again, check them out. Thank you to First Form for sponsoring this channel and supporting this two-way content. As I mentioned in the intro, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how the governor of New Mexico is once again going completely tyrannical. She is once again trying to attack the second amendment and restrict the right to keep and bear arms. She is pushing for a now new state rifle magazine ban, a 14 day waiting period, along with other gun control that she is now advocating for and has been introduced into New Mexico. Now, if you're not aware, recently the governor of New Mexico, Michelle Luan Grisham, came out during a press conference and announced that she was trying to do a new public health executive order and ban the ability of people to carry concealed or open for 30 days in certain areas like Albuquerque and some of those surrounding counties. So she's already once tried to attack the Second Amendment. Unfortunately, there was you know some pushback against that. There were lawsuits by organizations like GOA, FBC, and others who at least got TROs and preliminary injunctions against that executive order. But now, once again, that tyrannical governor is at it once again, and she is pushing for the Senate, the House there, your representatives in New Mexico to pass rifle bans, magazine bans, waiting periods, and a bunch of other things as well. So this, of course, is not good. We need to talk about what these do. And then also we need to talk about what you guys need to do in response. The first bill is HB 137, which is titled the Gas Operated Semi-Automatic Firearms Exclusion Act, also known as the Go Safe Act. If that sounds familiar, that's because it is. This state bill in New Mexico is essentially a copy and paste and adoption of the Go Safe Act, which was originally proposed at the federal level in Congress. So your state representatives here have copy and pasted a national bill that was introduced, which aimed to ban the possession of rifle and magazines. This bill states that beginning on January 1st, 2025, and except as provided in subsection C or D of this section, or section eight of the gas operated semi-automatic firearms exclusion act, it is unlawful for any person to import, sell, manufacture, transfer, or receive any of the following firearms devices or combinations of parts. This bill states that they will compile a list of prohibited gas operated semi-automatic rifles and firearms that they are going to ban. So there's going to be a list. And then they also have a bunch of characteristics that they are targeting as well. The prohibited rifles will include any rifle that is modified in any way that is also operating like a traditional rifle. So they're doing a very broad definition of what they're going to target. And the ultimate goal is to essentially ban all rifles, all magazines, you know, the most common rifles like AR-15s, AKs, or any type of variant are going to be targeted by this bill. But this bill goes even further. It also regulates a combination of parts if designed and functioned to modify an otherwise non-prohibited firearm. That means that this bill language will also target the sale and possession of certain parts if those parts could be used to make something like an AR-15 operate in a traditional manner. It also is going to prevent people in New Mexico from being able to buy rifle parts going forward, which, you know, it's crazy that they're targeting parts, but it also brings into a lot of issues where, yes, maybe if they're going to grandfather in certain rifles already, well, then what happens maybe if your rifle you already possess breaks? What if you need to change the barrel? What if you need to change the bolt carrier group? What if you need to change the buffer tube or some other parts? Well, under this bill language, you would be prevented from being able to purchase any new parts. Now, like always, they try to fool people and win over hearts and minds by saying, well, this is only going to be a prospective ban. It's only going to be a future ban on the acquisition of new rifles and only certain rifles. 
The bill states that they are going to allow you to keep those rifles and firearms that you already possess under a grandfather provision. But like what we've seen in states like California, although they once will grandfather in these types of rifles or magazines, just a few years down the road, always what they end up doing is trying to ban those as well. So don't be fooled by that language. But this bill is not isolated to just a ban on the most commonly possessed rifles. This also will impact magazines. The bill states that on or after July 1st, 2024, it is unlawful for any person to one, import, sell, manufacture, transfer, or receive a so-called large capacity ammunition feeding device, or two, possess a large capacity ammunition feeding device manufactured after July 1st, 2024. It is unlawful for any person who owns or possesses a large capacity ammunition feeding device that was manufactured and purchased or transferred before July 1st, 2024 to transfer that magazine and that device after July 1st, 2024. What they are trying to do here with this language is get a ban passed quickly, and then they want to make it so that no more magazines can be sold or purchased after July 1st of this year. So that is going to be kind of the date you're gonna be wanting to look for. Um, if this passes, hopefully this does not pass, but also what you saw in some of that language is they said, yes, they're going to grandfather in certain magazines, but you will no longer be able to transfer them or sell them even if those are grandfathered in. Now you may be asking yourself, well, even if this passes, how will they know which rifles or magazines were already in our possession prior, uh, which ones you know, are post ban and you know, how will they identify that? Well, there is language in this bill that includes a marking and identification requirement. That's right, they're going to require that any magazine or any rifle built, manufactured or sold after July 1st, I believe of 2024 or 2025, there's going to need to be markings on those that identify essentially that those are post ban items. It states that any rifle or magazine manufactured after the bill goes into effect must include a serial number and also a date that identifies that those parts or those magazines or those rifles were post ban. So this bill is going to create a very clear cutoff on rifles that are post ban and pre ban. And that's how they're going to identify which items are prohibited and which items you are not allowed to possess. But the slew of bills being pushed in New Mexico are not isolated to just rifle and magazine bans. You know, those are the ones probably that are gonna get the most press and people are gonna be most concerned about. But there's another big gun control bill that they're pushing for, which is a mandatory 14 day waiting period for firearms purchases. And again, they're also going to try to increase the age of purchase restrictions. I believe they're targeting red flag laws. And then, you know, like I said, that 14 day waiting period is also gonna be drastic. That's even gonna be worse than what we have in California. In California, we have a 10 day waiting period. Well, New Mexico wants to pass a 14 day waiting period. New Mexico is essentially also trying to adopt some other language from another federal gun control bill that was proposed at a national level last year. And that was the Gun Violence Prevention and Community Safety Act. I think that's the language they're pulling for. That federal bill that was proposed that federal bill that was proposed had a mandatory waiting period, red flag laws, age restrictions, purchase permits, and a lot of other things. And I think that's what New Mexico is pulling from because they're not being original. They copied the Go Safe Act. And here, I think they're just copying this other federal bill and trying to implement it at a state level. And as I mentioned, this is a very clear threat. Right now, this rifle magazine ban bill, as well as some of these other bills have passed out of committees and they're heading to the house floor in New Mexico for votes. So if you're in New Mexico, I highly recommend that you reach out to your representatives and tell them that they must oppose these bills. Tell them to not vote in favor of these Second Amendment violations that are being proposed. And if they do vote in favor of them, then you will put them on blast and you will vote them out. Let all of the other gun owners and all of your friends in New Mexico know that these are proposed bills. They're being introduced. They're being voted on. And they also need to get active to oppose this. Let everybody in New Mexico know what is going on. And that's because look at what happened in Illinois when they recently passed the Protect Illinois Communities Act. That was their rifle magazine ban. You know, that has led to a lot of legal battles after that passed. Uh, you know, we're right now dealing with this in California as well. We've been in almost a 10 year legal battle over our rifle magazine ban. And the best thing possible for you in New Mexico is to make sure that you put pressure on your representatives and never let this get passed because trying to get this overturned after the fact is going to be a multi-year uphill battle. Again, look at California, look at New York, look at Illinois, look at Oregon and Washington, look at what we're dealing with here. You do not want this bill to pass. So again, that's what's going on in New Mexico. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I will try to answer the best of my ability. 
Also, if you like this video and you'd like to support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm and it signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. But as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget this nation was built by Arm Scholars and this nation will be maintained by Arm Scholars.